So this video was sent in to the reaction request. This is actually from a friend of mine. Uh, his name's James. He makes videos on YouTube. Um, and he is currently losing weight. And so the name of this video is, What is Healthy Weight Loss Fixing a Poor Sleep Schedule? So let's see what he talks about in this, in this video. Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video update letting you guys know where I'm at on my weight uh, and how I'm doing in general. I've been really introspective lately uh, and it's really hindered my ability to uh, be active. I actually haven't done a run since around the end of August. Come on, James. So I'm going to be sure to get out there and do that today. There's been some stuff that's come up that's just really had me questioning a lot. When I get into that mindset, it kind of just compounds on itself where I question one thing and then I start to question another thing. And then I question, you know, what am I doing? <laughs> it's, it sounds like it's like a thought loop that you have. <clears throat> like you have one thought, this happens to me too. I have one thought that is negative and then it leads me down this path that I've done so many times that it's super easy just to kind of get comfortable in it. And then I just go, it's like, oh, I'm not feeling super good today. Or like, you know, I'm not happy about this. And it's like, oh, you know what? I'm actually worthless. Oh, you know what? Like, what's the point of all this? Oh, you know what? Like I am, I'm an imposter. And then it just snowballs and it so i know exactly what you mean there <laughs> uh and it 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 kind of is like a snowball going down a hill it just keeps oh, building well, there you go. Stuff. <laughs> and i need to throw the introspective side of myself to the wayside gotta yeet him bro while i let the action side of myself move forward you can't stay in that state for too long and and be good with it because you got to you got to move on. You got to make progress. It's kind of like if you don't see progress on the scale, uh, you you still got to keep pushing forward no matter what that number is. Uh, and that's that's what I'm doing just with the mental side of things is I'm saying, you know what? James, you spent plenty of time sitting here thinking about all this stuff and in all reality, if you just took action, you might actually see some progress in the areas that you're concerned about. Woo! Hey, James is spitting right now, dog. For show. Sure. So, let's go for a run. <laughs> run, James! <laughs> and that was the last time anyone ever saw James again. <laughs> I'm not going to push too hard today since it is my first time back running after a while and I think it's better to just be consistent with activity right now than it is to be going hard every day. Yup. hundred percent. So many, I mean, I said this last time, but so many people, when they get into it, whether it's a diet or exercise, they want to go from zero to a hundred. When in reality, if you were to just slowly build up over time, you're not going to deal with injuries. You're not going to deal with un an unbelievable amount of soreness as well. It's a lot of people, they get into a new routine and they go way too hard and they get to a point where they're so sore. They're like, I literally can't go to the gym. Like I want to, but I literally can't. Right. And so if you were to slowly build into it, you won't have that unbelievable soreness, right? So the thing is, there's that side of me that really wants to compete with myself, <laughs> but I know it's best. Dude, I love fall. Look at these colors. Oh. Man, I live in San Diego, bro. It's always the same here. <laughs> Someone said, someone said, why is it 14? Why is it 144p? I think it's because, uh, I think it's because James likes to use Android and he's, uh, he's filming with an Android phone, I think is the issue there. James said, check my internet. Hey, bro. You're probably right. <laughs> J 
James is killing it, bro. Certainly wasn't my best run ever, but it wasn't half bad. And it just felt good to get back outside. Come on, you guys. Look at that face. Come on. Look at that handsome man. Let's go. And run again today. And actually, I'm pretty surprised. I am not that out of breath. And I mean, I'm not sweating too much either, but that's because it was cold outside. I'm glad I wore this sweatshirt because otherwise I think I would have been freezing. I'm going to grab my... Y'all, I've honestly thought about this. If I lived somewhere where it was really cold and I went on a run, I think I might freeze to death because of how much I sweat. Like, I am genuinely, like, I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people run when it's super cold. I don't know. I don't know how people do it. I think I'd die. My dinner here, I got, or sorry, lunch. I got some rice and yes, beans. Throw some salsa in it. A bag of this tri -co Why did you say beans like that, James? Let's go back. <laughs> Sorry, lunch. I got some rice and beans. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> this, is, this isn't funny, but I don't know why it made me laugh so much. <laughs> he said I got some rice. Beans. <laughs> Throw some salsa in it. A bag of this tricolor oh. coleslaw. And that is my, that's my lunch. It's very filling. And I will check in with you guys later to explain a bit more of what I'm going to be covering and doing this week. So I will talk with you then. All right. So I'm going over to my parents tonight. Bro, that hat looks good, man. <clears throat> I'm planning on watching the Packer game with my dad. However... This thing that I was talking about implementing earlier uh, is working on my sleep. Uh -oh. It is something that I've talked about actually in some of my very first videos. I've talked about how bad I am with getting enough sleep and how bad I am at getting to bed on time. And with the way my schedule works, it, it's not working. It's not working for me. It's, it's made it very hard to get videos out <laughs> and to work on projects and to stay focused and to uh, be active, being that I have to be up at. Dude, you guys, sleep is so freaking important. And it's something I don't know much about, but I do know if I don't get enough sleep, I feel horrible. And I've, I, this is my own, this might be in my own bro, bro science, but I feel like the healthier I've got, the more I've noticed when my sleep is off like the more my body is like yo dude you're not sleeping enough like when i was pretty unhealthy like i feel like my body was so used to not feeling well that if i didn't get enough sleep it was like yo we're running on you know <laughs> like right now i run on all cylinders before i probably ran on two cylinders and my body was like yeah dude we're running on two cylinders it's all good bro we're used to this now i'm running on all cylinders um you know 12 cylinder v12 you know what can i say um but then if i'm running on eight cylinders my body's like yo dude what's going on we feel like trash right now 4 30 in the morning right now just to go to work uh it and and that's that's not going to change uh i only work three days out of the week but i find that on my days off, I tend to stay up way too late. And the repercussion of that is that I tend to sleep in until like 11 to one in the afternoon. From what I've seen in research too, it's not good to be up past like midnight. Like it's just, it's just not, it's not healthy. And since I'm truly seeking to be healthy in all aspects of my life, as much as possible, I think it needs to be addressed. As, as hard as that is for me to admit, because I love the time that I have with my friends at night to play games and, and to just relax, I need to set some boundaries for myself. That's why tonight's gonna be difficult because there's a 7.30 Packer game going on and uh, I've wanted to watch it with my, with my dad. And this is like so, oh man, this is so important. Like self care is so much more than just eating healthy and working out. Like there are so many other aspects to it. And like, the, the, and I, I'm saying this as a hypocrite, okay? I'm saying this as a hypocrite. So please understand that. I'm not trying to sit here and say like, I have everything together. I don't. My sleep schedule right now is trash as well. But there is so much more to being healthy than just, you know, exercising and eating broccoli. Like 100%. And I think it's really cool that James is kind of exploring that in this video. And I think I might have to bail early. Basically what it comes down to is I need to address my sleep. That's what it comes down to. 
and that might mean sacrificing things that I do right now. Uh, and, and, and I have to be okay with that. My hope is that I find new things that are beneficial from waking up earlier and having a consistent sleep schedule, uh, such as mornings at around four or five o'clock, there's not a lot of people up, so I can maybe focus on some things that I can work on personally, or maybe that's when I can get my activity in. And I'm sure there's certain benefits from getting up early that I can use to my advantage. <laughs> I just, <laughs> Having a hard time seeing it right now because I really like my late night, late night life. I really do. Uh, and, and it's been that way since literally high school. But that's what I'm looking to do this week. There's a lot that I could really say on this and I'll, I'm sure I'll say more during the week. So I'm just gonna cut it there and I will talk with you guys in the morning. From what I know about sleep and what I've heard is the most important thing is is that you're getting enough sleep, right? That you're getting eight to nine hours. Like that's what I've heard. It's like, you want at least eight. It's not like six, like some people, like there's a very small amount of people. I've, I've watched some some like interviews with a sleep scientist, I, I think is what he is, but like where he says like, a lot of people might say that they can like function on six and maybe you can function on six hours, but most people, like eight to nine hours is what your body needs to function correctly. Whether, I, I I don't know how much matters of like when you are sleeping, but you need to be getting that much sleep in a day. Like most people at least. Well, I uh, already got off on the wrong foot here. I was expecting just to watch the game with my dad, but then uh, my sister and brother-in-law came over and so we were all there and I stayed longer than I should have. Almost until the end of the game. Go Pack Go. They did win it, so <laughs> that's good. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up before before 7.30 tomorrow. Like, I was hoping to get up at like 5 tomorrow. And I don't think that's going to happen now. I think this is one of those moments, too, where it's like, <laughs> it's a small setback. You know, just like when I would mess up early on in my, in my weight loss journey with my diet. Or even if I mess up now, right? I take that as like, okay, you messed up. That's okay. Now you just got to move on. Just get right back to it. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm not going to just say, well, forget this night. I guess I'll just stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm going to go to bed right now. I'm going to try to wake up early tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to try to shift that window back. That's what's up. And do it, bro. I have a cool package coming in tomorrow that I want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for that i want to be <laughs> i want to i want to be ready for that and be be ready to learn that being said i will see you guys tomorrow go morning to sleep <laughs> for my run so i just woke up it's nine o'clock dang it james i still want to go back to sleep but i know that i shouldn't and so i'm going to stay up I set my alarm for 7, right? And I set it for 8 in case I didn't wake up. I woke up to my alarm at 7, but there's just that part of my brain that was like, go back to sleep. So it turned off, or I turned off the alarm. And then I woke up at 8, and I kept hitting the snooze, and now it's 9. So, I don't know. I got like, according to my app, my sleep tracking app, I got like nine hours of sleep, but I think it also took me around a half hour to fall asleep, so probably more like eight and a half hours. But it's nine o'clock, so I guess that's still earlier than noon or one or two in the afternoon, so. True. That, that's good, but I do need to get up. James, I know what you're trying to do here, okay? You need to stop it, all right? Stop using the camera as a reason to not get up, okay? <laughs> no, and go for my run. Get some activity in. I was hoping the next clip would be like, so it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I never got up. <laughs> Just finished my run. Did two miles in 30 minutes again. 
so feeling pretty good about that. My average pace was, I think, uh, 14 minutes and 37 seconds, because I did just over two miles. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good about these run times, even though I'm not pushing myself too hard. And uh, I'm excited for my package to come in. It's not here yet. I was hoping after the run it would be in, but it's not yet, so. Dog, this is me every single time I order something from Amazon or anywhere. I'm literally at my front door waiting for it. The second I hit order, I'm like, all right, where's it at? Can't wait to see it. Is it here yet? <laughs> and then the day that it's supposed to get here, I'm just checking my phone like, is it here yet? No, okay. How about now? No, okay. How about now? It's the worst. <laughs> I'm so bad. Which is fine. I have dishes to do and laundry to throw in the dryer and you know, all those other responsible chores that I can get done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right now I'm gonna go make some avocado toast, do the dishes, make my lunch, and then maybe my packs will be in, hopefully. So I'll talk with you guys then. So I just finished eating lunch and I saw online that my order has come in. Everything's done, everything's taken care of. Now what do we get, James? What do you guys think it is? You can't answer if you've seen the video already. Oh, I get to have some fun. This is a 3D printer. This oh, is the man. reality. Why'd you have to ruin it so fast, James? Ender 3 is what I ended up picking up. I was talking with Natalie and Albert one night, my brother-in-law and sister, and I was saying how I'd like to get back to doing like miniatures and stuff for D&D. &D. And so it would be nice to have a 3D printer for that. <laughs> I didn't have one at the time and I was like, well, that's all right. Maybe I'll get into it later in the future. Uh, I've got other stuff I need to work on anyway, which is true. This is still kind of like a side. Wait a second. Wait a second right now. What is this? James. James, it's the middle of October, my friend. James. What's going on here? Come on, dude. <laughs> Hobby for me. Went home, went to sleep, woke up the next morning and saw that this printer was on a lightning deal. <laughs> Saw it as a sign and I decided to pick it up and give it a test. Actually, there's a picture of it on the side. And I figured why not share with you guys a little bit of my experience with setting it up and doing my first print. It is the best feeling though. Let's be real. It's the best feeling when you order something and it finally comes in, you get it oh, you get to set it up. Oh, it's so good. Dog, if I had to try and put this thing together myself, it wouldn't happen. That it would not happen. All right. Okay, before we get before we get in into before he makes his first thing, what do you guys think he's gonna make? I want to know. All right, so we got we got uh, a helmet, of course, um, a sword, a human paladin. He said D and D figures, um, dice, an elf, a dragon, 
a Demogorgon. Maybe make a Warlock. Okay, so a lot of D&D &D stuff. I want him to make a Hyrulean shield. That's my first print ever. That's it. Right there, folks. <laughs> How cute That's is that? Beautiful. All right, it's a time that we've all been waiting for. Time for my weight loss update. So before I get into anything else, let's go ahead and see what the scale has to say. I love, I love that James does the green screen. So, so good. <laughs> with it being just over a month i don't think that's half bad that's not bad at all james let's go good work dude that's awesome look at this he has lost a total of 213 pounds 213 pounds let's go uh and i'm really close to being in the 340s for me personally it's been hard to grasp why the weight loss feels so slow and that thought started to weigh heavy on my mind as i filled in my chart that i've been keeping from the beginning of weekly weigh-ins i updated that graph and here's what it showed that's now, cool the beginning, you can see that it went down quite fast and you do see a few points in there where it peaks up and if you've been watching this channel for a while you'll know that those happened for a reason <laughs> and some of them didn't and that's okay like i was figuring it out as i went down and all of a sudden in the middle here it, it kind of stagnated it didn't go very fast it, it, it slowed down quite a bit uh but then as a recent you can see it's starting to go down again and it is fairly consistent but yet i still have these moments and these times where i just feel like i'm not making any progress or i'm this is so this this happens to so many people like when when you first start losing weight you will lose weight faster you just will right especially if you're losing like james started at over 550 pounds right so if you are starting at that point the weight will come off so fast like it just will and you will hit a point and a lot of people will call it a plateau but it's just now your body like you don't have like the um, the amount of room you have when you are that big right that you can like eat you can still eat you can still feasibly eat 3,000 calories when you're 550 pounds even more and lose weight on that right once you start going down once you're 100 pounds less right you're 450 pounds you might not have that luxury anymore so it is very normal for that weight not to just keep going down as fast as it was at the start i'm not feeling like i'm making progress fast enough right and i'm thinking too much about that time aspect when i am making progress this this chart shows that i'm making continuous progress and yep. i think sometimes we just really get inside our heads and we psych ourselves out a bit and we we change things up even though they don't necessarily need to be changed i also feel like i'm at a different point in my journey you know at the start when i was 500 plus pounds it was normal to see three to five pounds a week and sometimes i even breached the 10 pound mark i would get 10 pounds lost in a week which if i saw that now I might think something's wrong <laughs> and i think as i'm getting closer and closer to my goal weight i'm approaching that quote unquote normal weight loss uh and healthy weight loss of that one to two pounds per week and i think that my my data kind of reflects that kind of shows that i've also been far more active in the end of the month here where i was going for runs i actually got three runs in a row this week nice check that out <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> epic uh and i am feeling great so i think i'm at this point where while the weight is important it wasn't nearly as important as it was at the beginning of my journey when i was 500 plus pounds that was the focal point of my health that was the main thing that was affecting my health Man, this is good. This is good stuff right here. When he was over 500 pounds, his weight was the focus point that he needed to change, right? The weight needed to come down. Like, 
that's what mattered. But now that he has lost over 200 pounds, like it's not as much just I need to lose weight. It's like, let's figure out healthy habits, i.e., you know, the fact that he's worrying about his sleeping schedule now. And I think at this point, while it still is a factor, it isn't the full picture anymore. And, and now I understand this idea of, well, you need to look at how you're feeling. You need to understand that progress isn't just made on the scale. Uh, it's made in new clothes. <laughs> it's made in your new personal best mile. At the beginning, I think I was doing like 30 minutes and I was just getting a mile. <laughs> I remember pushing myself really hard one time and I did it in like 22 minutes I did a mile. Uh, so now I'm literally doing two miles in the time that it took me to do one. Yep. That's just mind blowing. <laughs> so I guess the whole thing that I'm looking at here. The thing that's important, and I've said this before, health is more than just your weight. But at a certain point, your weight becomes a detriment to your health, right? And that's not at all points of your weight, but if you are on either ex side of the extreme, too thin, too heavy, your weight is impacting your health. Not always, but at some point, you cross that line where now your weight is affecting your health. Is, even though there are times that you may feel like you're not making progress, uh, even though there are times when that scale just refuses to go down. I saw it this week already. I weighed in on Monday at 352.1. And then I weighed in today <laughs> on Thursday and now I'm 351.6. So literally I'm seeing that within this week too where I just haven't seen any progress even though I've been super active and I've been super strict with my diet. Like it just doesn't seem to reflect the full picture anymore like it used to. And that's what this is about. It's not just about the weight loss. It's also about that overall good health. And that's why I'm focusing on my sleep too, because that is a major problem. <laughs> and you know what? That Let me talk about that for just a second. I, I still have been struggling to go to bed at a decent hour. I've, I've gone to bed earlier than normal. Uh, I've definitely been in bed before midnight each night, but that's still not where I need to be. And that's okay. Because this week, I did a victories. I never slept in <laughs> past noon. And some of you are laughing because past noon is a pretty low mark for you. But for me, that's a big deal. I hey man, it's all relative, my dude. I had some days where I was sleeping in past you know, 2 p.m., which is insane. I was wasting basically my entire day. So to, to now have it where I've been up before noon has actually been really encouraging and it, that is progress for me. Just like when I started my weight loss journey where I just started with drinking water and cutting my carbs. That's what this week was for me in my sleep. It was taking those small incremental steps to eventually get me to the greater goal. But yeah, that about wraps everything up. I've got a couple of other things behind the scenes in the works. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, you guys have a wonderful week. <laughs> oh, James. James is a great guy. You guys should 100% go check out his channel. Um, he's been doing an absolutely amazing job for a very long time. And uh, I'm happy to call him a friend. So make sure you guys uh, check him out. His link will be in the description.